So if you're in a condition right now where you're not the best version of yourself, have some hope you can change. You can change. It can change. Your situation can change. Your circumstances can change. The reason a lot of people aren't comfortable with Islam is because they don't understand it. They don't know it. Some people, all Islam is for you is weak in school. Your parents, your name, your culture. How can you die in condition of la ilaha illallah with that on your tongue when, you know, you, you have Travis Scott on your tongue? Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Why I left Islam. Then I came back, alhamdulillah. I thought to myself, how can I make a good video? with a nice provocative title that I know that if people actually watched and gave it a chance, they'd get benefit from it. Some of you have already caught on to my strategy where I make a very like uh, clickable title, not clickbait, clickable title because it has a sense of pro provocative uh, nature and it's, it's gritty and you watch it and then it actually turns out to be something else. And some of you have caught on to that, like you click it for this, but then you actually come out with something. So shout out to you. Uh, I also want to just highlight a few comments over here. Uh, just I, I, I read and respond to every single comment. There's certain comments that are really beautiful. And I might give a one word response here and there, but just know it means a lot to me. So here are some of those comments uh, right now. They, these are awesome people. Jazakal khair. And if you want to be featured in the next uh, video's comment section thing, I guess leave a comment or something, you know. Let's get back to the video. Why I left Islam. Now, this video is not going to be about the reasons why I wasn't into Islam. It's going to be about you and where you are currently. If you are someone who is not proud of their Islamic identity, don't even know their Islamic identity, don't even have one, have people call you nicknames because you're ashamed and embarrassed of your actual name, if that's you out there, this video is going to help you out. If you're someone whose iman is firm, the way this video is going to help you out is because it's going to give you an insight onto those whose iman might not be as firm or their identity might not be as firm and it might remind you of who you used to be. Because if we are alhamdulillah on the haq, on the deen, practicing, just know the reason you're called practicing is because once upon a time you weren't. If that's the state you were always in, you wouldn't be called practicing. A lot of us become arrogant and forget our own roots and our nature and where we come from. We're not, I'm not this. This is not like, this is like, this was developed. This didn't happen overnight. I still make mistakes off camera that you won't see. As long as Allah covers them from you and from myself and from my family. Wherever you are right now, it's not your final destination. So if you're in a condition right now where you're not the best version of yourself, have some hope you can change. You can change. It can change. Your situation can change. Your circumstances can change. Your current, uh, your current situation or circumstance doesn't dictate where you're going to end up. I come from a one-bedroom apartment. I didn't get my first bed, my actual first bed until I was like 22. I used to sleep in, on, on a sofa bed in, in the... In the uh, you know, in the in the living room. SubhanAllah. Some of you are like, oh, SQ, you're in a Range Rover now. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Allah could take this away tomorrow. He could take it away right now. And I could go in a different state, in a different condition. But that doesn't define who I'm going to become. So... I guess this video starts off as like why I left Islam. The reason a lot of people aren't comfortable with Islam is because they don't understand it. They don't know it. Some people, all Islam is for you is weak in school. Your parents, your name, your culture. We've become like the Bani Israel in that regard. Probably in other circumstances too, but in that regard we have. People who feel like we're the chosen one. Right? We're the chosen one. Because we say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, we're going to Jannah. MashaAllah. So either that leads to two things. One, you look down upon others who are not on their deen or not on Al-Islam. Or you think that, you know what? I have time. I could change. You're young. You're like, oh, when I go to Umrah or Hajj. What? Well, what kind of ridiculousness is that? Do people still say that? I'm so out of touch. Do people still say that? When I go to Umrah or when I go to Hajj, that's when I'll change. 
There's no promises. There's no guarantees. I could be locked out of Umrah forever after watching that video. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's no promises. There's no guarantees. I'm going to go to Umrah. You act like you're going to wake up the next day. I act like I'm going to wake up tomorrow. We act like there's there, this thing is promised. It's not promised. Everything you have is not promised. These are gifts and tests from Allah. Your heart pumping every second. It's not a promise. That's why it's called the heart attack. That's when your heart stops pumping. And you didn't see it coming. Don't you think if you were prepared for a heart attack, you would have been like maybe lying on a bed or something? No, you're just like freaking shopping. You're in a grocery store. Somehow we have this idea that, you know, we're going to die with La ilaha illallah, uh, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah on, on, on our tongues. How? How? Like, you, you act like death is going to knock on your door and tell you, hey, if you have an appointment at three. How can you die in condition of la ilaha illallah with that on your tongue when, you know, you, you have Travis Scott on your tongue? You're singing some Billie Eilish song. You're, you're humming to some BTS. I don't know. I don't know what BTS people are. I don't know. Is that music? Maybe. How can la ilaha illallah be the last thing on your tongue when your 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 tongue knows nothing but you know the songs that you recite you think in a time of need you're going to be able to access this toolbox or toolkit that you have of la ilaha illallah death is going to come to us so sudden so strong that we might poop ourselves <laughs> you know what i mean we might not even have a chance to poop ourselves because that's how quick and swift death is subhanallah isn't it scary to think of it like that? Yet, you know, we can have songs of your favorite artists on your tongue. How do you expect to say La ilaha illallah before you actually die? If our actions and our intentions and every faculty of our lives are not dedicated to Islam in some way, shape, or form, then we have a possibility of dying in that condition does that make sense i hope that's making sense i might be seeking right at your level or some people over here some people have already clicked out but I'm, I'm realizing that these videos are designed for those who are supposed to watch it like it's for the ears that were supposed to hear it you know what i mean like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted your ears to hear this hence you made it this far into the video so you could even hear this sentence and I pray that when Allah holds you and I accountable for every second that we've spent in this dunya, that these few seconds and minutes that we've spent together either now or from before, maybe help us. Maybe, you know, testify on our behalf that, you know what? Allah, your slave, your ibadi, they were busy remembering you in a unique way. They were watching a video that caused their hearts and their imans to shine. Allah. So maybe these few minutes or seconds help us on the day of judgment. I just pray I don't, you know, change. You know, a lot of people are congratulating me. You know, a brother named Riley. Shout out to Riley. May Allah bless him. He's in, uh, I, believe, I believe, Alabama. Has such beautiful manners. I can see why Allah chose him for Islam. He's like, I think, 16 or 17. He has such excellent manners, mashallah. And he watches all the videos, mashallah. He called me. He called me. He's like, SQ, you gave your number out? And that's why when anyone ever asks, SQ, what's your email? How do I contact you? What's your if you haven't been able to, you know, be resourceful enough to figure that out, you must not really want to talk to me. You must not really want to fix your situation. But shout out to Riley. Such beautiful man. I could see why Allah chose him. Such a beautiful, beautiful uh, character. And we definitely have to watch a Phoenix Suns game, my bro, if you're watching this right now. You know, the, these videos are designed to help you wherever you are. And I pray that, you know, I'm, I'm, I, never, I don't change when, you know, you hit 100K subscribers. I, I, can, I pray that I continue to increase in Iman and help you guys and uh, want to develop you guys as well. I don't know if the title of this video will stay the same or change. Uh, but either way, I pray that you benefited from this video, however it might be. Here's a few other my videos you can watch if you're interested. Um, 
uh, one is best for viewer, one is my most recent one, and sometimes they're one and the same. <laughs> I appreciate you and love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.